John, what, what do you think? Um, what, uh, how young does this patient or old does this patient have to be before you say, okay, we gave this a valiant effort. Uh, let's talk about sending you for an arthroplasty. Yeah. I mean, I think a lot of that just depends on the, the patient and, you know, and having a discussion with them. I mean, one of the, you know, I've been at an institution where, um, you know, if you have somebody who's doing vascularized fibulas, this would be a, you know, this would be, that would be high on the list of conversion, you know, options uh, before you got to an arthroplasty, you just, you know, you have lack of, uh, you know, your kind of a cavitation, you know, where that displacement was, but the hip's still in a relatively good position. And so, uh, you know, but you, but if you have a discussion with the patient and you say, listen, we're going to, you know, we're going to go, we're going to try to bone graft this thing, or we're going to try to do something to salvage your hip. And they're like, yeah, I, I just need the thing that gets me back to doing, you know, whatever activity they want to do with, and they don't want to go through another three months, you know, eight weeks, 12 weeks of non-weight bearing or partial weight bearing or whatever, uh, you know, it becomes individualized. I mean, I've, I've had patients who I've operated on who've had catastrophic hip injuries that, you know, around age 20 are getting arthroplasty and do reasonably well with a, with a, you know, well-known arthroplasty. But I, I still think in general, you try to delay this as long as possible or, or try to, you know, salvage their native hip. I mean, that's the that's always the goal, right? Because that patient, that young patient who gets an arthroplasty is bound to have, a, you know, you know, a, one, if not more revisions in their, in their lifetime. And every single time that becomes a little bit more, you know, more challenging. So, you know, I don't, but I would, I, the one thing I would say is I'd probably jump on this sooner rather than later, just because I like the position overall of the hip. And, you know, before I had to start thinking about, you know, reorienting that, that neck, I mean, that, if you, I mean, the lateral looks fantastic, right? It's still, it's hanging on. None of the implants are broken. Um, you know, you could think about doing something, um, you know, sooner rather than later while the head's still in, you know, the head and neck are still in, you know, relative valgus uh, before you let it, before, you know, it falls off and all of a sudden cavitates, you know, some of the real estate that you have in the head. I think that's one of the things that I'd be concerned about.